Well, Jack and I have a very unfortunate task that we have to accomplish right now because last week we said when we found out Will Levis was playing, we did not believe he would win the game. I Nobody can't remember how it, critical we were of him. Uh, we, we weren't big fans of Levis coming into the draft, but we just also expected, you know, first game, a lot of rookies don't win those first games. They look bad. Um, the Falcons haven't been a great team this year, but they've been beating teams that they should beat. And the Titans probably fell into that category with a first <laughs> a first game starter in Will Levis. So we said, okay, you know what? If uh, Will Levis wins this game, we will drink coffee with mayonnaise in it. You no know? one in the comments held us to it, though. No one did, but we said it. It was Ziggy and Zach held us to it, yeah. which, which is rightfully so. So we have to, you know, you know, after going 19 for 29, 238 yards and four touchdowns and uh, <laughs> looking really, really good, we do owe it to Will Levis to try out oh, this Hellman's Light Mayo. Well, look, you like coffee, it's a right? black coffee. I do. Coffee's good. Mayo's good. It can't be that bad when you mix them. I don't. I, don't, I like mayo, but I in the coffee. All right, so here we go. This is also the best. Helmut's is the best brand. Study it is the best. It's the best mayo brand. Either. It is, it is and we didn't have the squeeze mayo, yeah. so we, we're, we had to go spoon. Uh, what's also unfortunate about this is we poured the coffee before the show, so now the coffee's also you can cold. You see this it. Is, how much, how much do you think I put coffee. in here? How much? Put oh, a glob. That's, that's a little too much. Put a spoon. Put a glob. That's a lot. Well, Will Levis, look, look, Will Levis won, that, man. That's a lot of mayo. No, Will, Will, Will Levis won. Spoonful's good. What do you think? Spoonful's good. I think that eating mayonnaise is immoral. All right, I'm going to put... Th this is going in. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Maybe... Oh, this is gross. Hey, maybe this com this video gets us on the Titans comment. Oh, God. All right, hold on. Let me stir that up. Oh, dude, it doesn't even like... It's just like... It's not dissolving? Not it's as much as it cold. should be. All right, whatever. I'm stirring it up, and I have a light coffee now. Let's so we're taking it. what? We're taking a sip, or are we like, downing this? I'm, I'm taking a sip. Taking I'm a sip. downing this. You're downing it. Nine one ball. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, stir that up. Stir that up for yourself. Yeah. So, in podcast, I, I, I'm form, just watching this. I might puke. In podcast for I have an upset stomach today too, partially from the Indian wedding that I mentioned at the top of the the broadcast. I'm also going an hour sixty of a hangover as well. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. Oh okay, yeah. It's like so, oh oh. No, it's like mixed in, but there's still just globs. waiting to pour it. What was the difference? I didn't want to spill. Spoon okay. What? So there, there. Yeah, just keep your spoon in. There. Jack just keep, spit just on. Keep your spoon there. Jack spit on right. live before. Here we go. So yeah, I'm not sure I can watch. Fuck. <laughs> Cheers. I'm All in right. For it. Here we go. To Will. To Will. How does it even taste like anything? I can't taste it. I think Paul likes it. That's really good. That's really, really, really Holy good. Shit. Maybe this is the Will Levis. What's that? Uh, I might, I might just add a little is, more. Is, is this the secret stuff for for, for Will? Hold on, let me take this another sip. This could be the secret stuff. Oh, let me take another sip. Uh, there's take a, a real sip, Paul. There's, you were baby. There's man. a glob sitting here. Got that spoon for a second. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't want to do this. All right, where was this all my life, Ziggy? Where was this all my life? All right, hold on. I'm gonna give an accurate review here. Take a real sip. I think it's really good. It's 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 fine. It tastes like coffee with a little a uh, little kick. There's a little kick. It's like you know what it is. I, I don't want a glob going down I my. Just slurp it to the mic. I don't know if they believe you. They they didn't hear a sound. Well, I can attest. He, I can test. You sipped. Okay, I got some of the mayo on that one. No, no, but you it's, know it's it's okay. I will never do this like? again in my life. You know what but it it's not like? horrible. It's like coffee with a kick of a turkey sandwich with with mayo. It no, it's it's good. an insane thing to put in coffee. Hey, we'll just a it. turkey sandwich of mayo minus the turkey sandwich. <laughs> Well, yeah, a turkey sandwich of mayo only tastes like mayo because the mayo is very strong. So this is kind of just like coffee with that little turkey sandwich kick. No, nope, okay, I got the mayo on that one. No. Bad. It's uh, unsettling. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to you, I think I might have only had the coffee. No, no, you, yeah, yeah. I just, you get it with, yeah, get, get a sip with the mayo. Make sure you get the mayo. It's not like repulsive, but it's repulsive. Un unsettling. That's repulsive. That's a lunatic. That's bad. Do. No offense, Will. That is, that is absurd. Can I make another amendment? Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. yeah you're if, good. Yeah. If Will <laughs> Levis beats the Steelers in Pittsburgh, I'll Don't eat a whole it. jar on air. Okay. 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 It's a lot of faith in Mitch Trubisky. Just yeah, especially after the performance we saw from Will Levis, right? Like, I'm 
this isn't a situation where Will Levis just sort of sat back through for 30 yards and let the defense and Derrick Henry bail him out. He was instrumental in every one of those touchdowns that they scored. Yeah, I mean, look what Will Levis, the main concern for him coming out of Kentucky was not his arm strength. Like, we knew his arm strength was amazing. But all the other factors, like the ability to make the right play, ball placement, decision-making, and at least for one game, he answered all those questions about whether he can do that at an elite level. It was a good mix of shots downfield plus more precise balls, short, intermediate, accurate. Put a lot of balls in places only his receivers could make plays. He can take this Titans offense, at least from what it seems like, from one, one game. game to a level that Tannehill cannot. When, when was he, the last time a Titans quarterback had four passing touchdowns? And no game? picks. Must be ages. And he, I think he can rejuvenate D-Hop's career. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I think the DeAndre Hopkins point is good, right? Because I think you saw the benefit of having one of those experienced alpha receivers in the room. Because DeAndre Hopkins on the three touchdown passes he got. Insane number, by the way. But on all three of them, he did things that made Will Levis's life easier. Yep. And I think that confidence really made a difference because on that clutch fourth quarter, second and 11 over the shoulder touchdown pass, that went to Westbrook Akine. But oh, that's that, the that kind of was, that was the pass. Of the it day. was an on the money over the shoulder yep. pass straight into the end zone with a cornerback pretty close. If he had not been making those throws to DeAndre Hopkins, he might not have had the confidence to go for that. The Titans offense, you said it. When, like, when's the last time we watched that offense and said, oh, they have a downfield passing attack? Like, I saw Will Levis throw a, a 60-yard bomb touchdown to DeAndre Hopkins. Like, when's the last time we saw that? No, the Titans don't do that. Like, you, like, you, had, you had a couple A.J. Brown big plays like that, but it's been a long time since we've seen the Titans go down the field that much, and that was fun to see uh, Levis do was just the aggressiveness that he had and really not putting the ball in too much danger. There were a couple throws, but nothing crazy. We have to see him do it again, though. Before I'm ready to say, some yeah, Titans yeah. fans uh, yeah. and outlets are really excited and saying, "Okay, maybe, like maybe the season's turned around." And that is a fair question. Like the AFC seven seed should probably be up for grabs to some degree. Eh, we'll see. Uh, It'll still question, be tough to real get. Quick. How many how many throws did Levis have? He's like what, like 29. 30? 30. 19 for twenty nine. 19 for 29. Wow, that's crazy. Because I feel like they don't no. let Tannehill throw like more than 15 times a game. It always feels like. Yeah, yeah no, mean, they, you, they let him rip it. You saw something completely different from Will Levis. And I'll say this much. If I'm the Tennessee Titans, Ryan Tannehill is not starting another game for me. <laughs> not because I think Will Levis is going to throw for four touchdowns and zero interceptions every single game. But you just don't – They Ryan Tannehill does not have this kind of upside. You've seen that your young quarterback against the Falcons' defense that, what, they were fourth in points per game this yeah, season? They were their solid. Defense has been yeah, their defense was statistically solid. Statistically very good this year. Yeah, so the fact that you, Will Levis, are able to step in and throw for four touchdowns when Jared Goff threw for one, you got to play this guy and see what he can do. Yes, he, 100%. He, he, to me, looked like the total polar opposite – of what we've seen Jordan Love be so far. Like he knew, Will Levis seemed to know when to take risks downfield, when to play it safe, know who the ball should be going to. So you were really, really impressed. But I thought he was awesome. Yeah, I thought he was very, very good. So I'm not, not, I don't don't like to jump the gun right away on a rookie who plays one game. But that, I mean, again, it's a week to week show. I mean, look, rather this than come out and look horrible. I mean, he looked great. Well, look, here's, here's what I wrote down. I'm pretty confident at the end of the year. And now here's, here's where we get into all the speculative we're stuff. Titans podcast, we're we Titans are, we podcast. Are, we like the Titans. They commented Look, on our tech tech video. That's why, that's why we're drinking yeah, coffee. We are a Titans spot. We like the Titans. The Dolphins, Chiefs, Jags, and Bengals, I said. Let's just pretend they win their divisions right now. The Ravens and the Bills I have as wild card teams. Now with the seven seed, you have teams like the Chargers. You have the Steelers in that mix. You probably have the Browns somewhere in there too. I think that seven seed with for Tennessee, it, uh, this is a huge if. But if Will Levis plays anything like he did this past weekend, yeah, like you could make a little run. I don't think they're going to catch Jacksonville, but you could make a little run at a playoff spot here. And I do think that it's okay to say there there is new hype and rejuvenation to this Texans or Titans roster. Yeah, could you not? I'd be th- through the roof. Yeah, it's what I it's what we want to see from Jaron Hall, Vikings fans. Yeah, what what? Yeah. And now that's a lot to ask for, but. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, look, you know, last year was bad, but otherwise they'd won what, like six or seven straight against the Jags and like 11 out of the past 12. Like the Titans own the Jaguars. They absolutely have an opportunity to take this division. They have a very good team, Tennessee. Uh, Maybe not very, very good team, but like last year they were a game away from being in the playoffs. They started seven and three. There's no talent on the roster. There's no reason not to believe if, if Will Levis can play at a level somewhat similar I'm not saying quite as good, because I thought he was very good, but somewhat similar to what he showed against Atlanta. There's no reason to believe that they can't play as a seven seed in the AFC. They have the tiebreaker over Cleveland and Chargers. There's a big game Thursday in Pittsburgh, too. So so are those three teams I just said, I I wasn't even thinking about this when I said it. The the Browns, the Chargers, and if they beat you guys on Thursday, they would have the tiebreaker over all three of those main competitive teams for the seven seed. Yeah. They won't be. And they better go to Pittsburgh and win. Wow. It's that simple. Will Levis, just a few games after his first NFL start, is going to have a huge opportunity. If he wins this, the hype's off the charts. If Will Levis goes against to Pittsburgh at night against TJ Watt and then and wins, it's it's for real. I'll believe.